Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio Build Workshop. As always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. And uh, today we have a rail junction, um, a four-way rail junction submitted by the One Wolf 34. And this is going to be a pretty quick video because we just have this to go over, and then another note about a previous one we did. But uh, I'll let Zuri pretty much go over um, the logistics of this. Yes, it's a, it's a four-way junction based off the intersection criteria, so there's no loops. Um, the only complaint to have with it is that it's built a little too compact, so there's not enough room to fit in all the signals you need to maximize the throughput. But other than that, it's a good design. Okay, cool. So uh, if it were big enough to fit the signals, uh, where would you want the, the proper signaling to be? Uh, before and ever, sorry, before and after every single one of these little junctions. So you, you need a lot of little signals in here, and there's not enough room to put them the way it's built right now. Okay, so without the signals that you need, um, you, you mentioned to me it essentially just limits this to one train through at a time because of the signaling? Or one um, heading back and forth to the same direction. So like one train can enter and exit this node at a time, or one train can enter and exit this node at a time, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so, yeah, the throughput is not as high as it uh, could potentially be, so you would want to, uh, to yeah, just build this uh, larger so that you, you can actually fit the signaling you need uh, before and after every crossing, which, as, as I already mentioned, for, for things like this, you would actually need quite a lot of uh, signals here for this to have the throughput to actually accept multiple trains from from the directions at once. Another solution is to build it asymmetrical. Uh, that actually solves a lot of problems sometimes, but it looks weird. Right. Yeah. So like your uh, your your T junction solution down here, you mentioned to me, while it's not really symmetrical, um, it does work better because of that. Yes. If uh, you don't make it completely symmetrical, you usually typically fit in signals on one side or the other. Again, you'd build this uh, different if you were driving on the left versus on the right. Okay, yeah, good point. And then, so that pretty much covers that one. So thanks for the submission. Um, you know, good design and and really just need to, to, to get the maximum throughput for it, uh, you would need to expand it so that you can actually fit your signaling in here um, before and after every crossing pretty much but uh overall good design and lastly just as a quick note um this is uh zentoxia's design we went over a few videos ago that uh people really liked we really liked it um however we did not mention in the video and people pointed out this is actually three wide spacing which um is actually somewhat abnormal so it wouldn't really fit with a lot of people's rail systems and some people asked if you could build it too wide, and uh, Zuri did build it too wide here, and it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the signals right. We haven't hooked it up to a train system and tested it, but yeah, it should work. And it's, uh, it's the correct uh, spacing for a lot of the other train systems. Correct. So. Um, yeah, signaling should be good. I mean, we essentially just mirrored the signaling on this one. Uh, and, and one quick note, it is slightly bigger. We measured, and I think you said, Zuri, it's like one rail larger in each direction. Yes. Then, okay, so so yeah, actually um, compressing the main rails actually kind of expands the others out a bit. Um, but it's just barely larger, and this one would actually fit with your uh, two rail systems. And... And yeah, there you go. So it can be done. And and that's really it, guys. Pretty short video, but uh, didn't have too much to go over. There was another rail system, but we couldn't get the blueprint to work, so I did request a resubmission for that one. Hopefully, in the future, we can go over it as well. But uh, unless you have any last thoughts or anything, Zuri, I believe uh, that'll do it. Nope. We'll catch you guys later. All right. Later, guys.